This is a video walkthrough for the Dutch Chrono Kessens landing on Ormantel. We have an in-depth guide on the site for the geothermal shielding missions you have to complete to be able to get the Datcron. They are quite long for a video format. Here I will focus your attention on unlocking and accessing the Datcron itself. After you get your own lava shield, you also need to find a worn access card. Here are two locations where you can get it at Kessens Landing. Head to the south of Kessens Landing where the lava flows are. You can quick travel to Solitude's Lays and go west to reach this area. Once inside, you find the medical droid and the blue panel on the wall that will give you the mission. When you go in the instanced area, you find yourself in a hallway with several terminals. You need to activate these in a specific order to unlock a door at the end of the hallway. You have a limited amount of time to activate the safety release, so be quick or you'll have to reactivate the system flush. Once you activate the routine execution, you'll hear an alarm and the door at the end of the tunnel will open. Get to the end of the tunnel before you run out of time and have to restart the process. you find some missiles past the small lava pool, Right click this to pick up a missile temporary ability. Once you've dealt with the sub ribs, you encounter a large pool of lava and a broken bridge. Here you can see a terminal you can use and some rocky areas you can land on down below. What you can't see are hidden monitor droids. Fortunately the terminal temporarily reveals their locations. The monitor droid will slow you if you get too close to them when you attempt to run across the lava with your shield and entering combat will deactivate your rocket boost. Move past some more sub rips until you reach a metal platform. This platform has a console that you can interact with that powers off the shielding at the door you need to reach. This also spawns the malfunctioning probe that you need to defeat for a detonation unit. You may need to reactivate the shielding system override console once more before proceeding.
You are at the final stretch for the Kessens Landing Daticron now. This area just requires you to use your shield to get across gaps to safe spots. Avoid grapple droids and fight a few sav rips along the way. Fortunately for you, there are no hidden monitor droids in this area. When you cross the lava, be sure to land at the mesh platforms. The other debris you find in this area isn't always safe to land on. Eventually, you'll find more missiles you can use against the subribs. You need to use those missiles to interrupt their stunning leap ability and make things easier. Collect the Datacron and use the shortcut behind it to get back to the entrance. Congratulations and thanks for watching. Visit Vogue.com to find more and always up-to-date guides about Star Wars The Old Republic.